Hi everyone. I hope all of you are doing good. And if you came to our channel for the first time, click on subscribe button. If you like our videos, keep sharing with your friends uh, to enhance their skills and uh, to expand our uh, knowledge sharing. Because all of you know that the efforts to make a video, whether it's a 10 minutes or one hour, it is same. Whether if it is reaching 2,000 people or uh, 10,000 people, so keep sharing and keep spreading knowledge. In this video, we are going to discuss about our uh, favorite subcontracting process. In multiple videos and multiple documents, we have discussed about the SAP's steps and accounting entries. But in this video, we are going to see the, the business process and how does it happen. For anyone who is preparing for interview, subcontracting accounting entries are uh, very special because compared to all the processes, I believe the accounting entries which are complex and confusing to many people and even more entries we are going to get it. So these are quite popular always. So let's see uh, what exactly happened in a subcontracting process. This is the company. So you have a company, there is a subcontracting vendor, we, let's use the word called subcontractor, here there is a normal vendor. So I'm trying to show uh, why because of the he is a normal vendor who generally provide you material and who is your subcontractor who is going to assemble or who is going to make your uh, final product based on the components. So here uh, vendor and subcontractor are both are same in our SAP system. If it is S4 HANA he is the business partner and if it is uh, ECC he is like a vendor which will be created with XK01 transaction code. So the company needs to uh, procure a final product and uh, they want to send to their subcontractor for assemble. So uh, in different videos I explained that what is the difference between standard procurement and subcontracting based on the business uh, benefit and uh, in other reasons they can go for a subcontracting procurement. Uh, there are many examples like in my experience there are uh, electrical uh, kind of some uh, metal panels that business will send to the subcontractor and subcontractor will make the bending and all based on the business requirement or few places we have seen they will cut into small small pieces based on the business requirement 2 mm 10 mm and all the distance whatever the length and the width they want they cut and they will supply to the company even few companies we have seen that uh, they make the painting and they will send the painted panels to the company. And uh, one of my initial days before I become a SAP consultant uh, in Asian Paints, I used to see uh, that uh, Mahindra Mahindra used to send to a subcontractor to make um, the panels. Okay, they used to make a panels of uh, the Scorpio, the wooden, whatever the plastic kind of panels are there. Right? Those they used to paint it, and they will send to their company. So there are different examples how a subcontractor to assemble or to cut into some pieces or certain kind of uh, length and width and all or else they will combine and they will make a product from those raw materials and they will send. So there are different type of uh, business process so you can use it. So in our uh, normal process what we know a company will create a purchase order okay so the company will create the subcontracting PO item category L so I just put in that one. PO will be given to the subcontractor along with PO they will send you the components they will give that child components to the subcontractor so then the subcontractor will give you the final product so the subcontractor will send you the final product
subcontractor will send you the final product and you receive it and your stock will be you will have this final product after the procurement and the components anyway it will come down from your uh, warehouse stock so during final product and uh, there will be only invoice of all of you aware about that one the only invoice we do for invoice for subcontracting charges only okay only for subcontracting charges will be done and then payment for uh, once a final product how we are receiving we are doing goods receipt components will be goods issue with me to go like that so this is purchase order we sent then components are sending with goods issue the final product is received once the final product is in our warehouse then the invoice will be only for subcontracting charges after that payment will be done so in a certain kind of a cases so you can get it out that why did you keep the normal vendor here so for normal vendor what happens let me keep it in some different color so for normal vendor company will not send these components okay these components they will not send they directly create a purchase order normal po to vendor and in the delivery address there is a uh, flag called the sc vendor if you give that sc vendor the delivery address of that materials will become subcontractor so the subcontractor will get the components from a vendor okay subcontractor will get the components from the vendor so company will just send the po components coming from the vendor they get a final product so this portion is not required if you are following this blue color lines processes the sending components to subcontractor is not required because the vendor itself will send you the components to the subcontractor so that the final product will come to company and uh, invoice and payment okay so for example the subcontractor is charging that per piece he is charging let's take it uh, 100 rupees you are ordering some 200 okay so per piece uh, you have the 200 and 100 so based on that you will pay whatever amount like the 20000 rupees okay. so those things you are going to pay to the vendor so 20000 what only service charges to get that kind of uh, material 200 quantity and 100 pieces so this is the way uh, how is subcontracting process happen accounting entries and uh, during goods issue you no know, accounting entry during final product you will get the accounting entries for the components issue and uh, receiving of the final product and the invoice for the subcontracting charge you are paying only subcontractor so three entries will come one is for the components related another one is for the final product another one is for the subcontracting charges only subcontracting charges will have a grir because you need to create invoice for only subcontracting there is no invoice for the final product there is no invoice or anything financial for the components only our stock will come down so this is the way how you need to understand the business process transactions and the accounting entries that we you will get it by based on our other videos and even in our blog we have accounting entries and uh, in our complete uh, subcontracting procurement video even i explained about the scrap along with final product if there is some scrap is coming so how to handle those scrap uh, things or else the company is giving subcontracting to sell the scrap and uh, give some discount in the subcontracting charges that is one approach and if you companies will ask that uh, no no send me the scrap along with my final product so that i will do something with that scrap either selling or using for any other uh, as a fertilizer uh, to our um, plantation whatever they can utilize it or else they can negotiate that scrap subcontractor will do whatever he want he will sell or he whatever he wanted to do but uh, he will give us some discount in the subcontracting charges this is the way how negotiation happens between subcontractor and the company so all companies may not follow in a there is no thumb rule that always scrap must come to company or else always scrap will be used by subcontractor so each company will they uh, behave in a different way based on their uh, policies or uh, based on their benefits okay if they are having some other company with that scrap they can make it some fertilizer then they will not give the scrap to other person right 
So this, this is the way how you need to understand the business process. I hope uh, these new whiteboard videos by explaining about the business processes without SAP transaction codes or um, fields and all, anyway that we are going to do it. Okay, but as a business analyst, any functional consultant, you need to understand the business process and how you are going to explain to your clients. I hope uh, these videos are giving you the enough knowledge. Keep sharing and uh, keep commenting if you want to have any kind of improvement or if you want to have um, any suggestions so that definitely I will adopt it because finally the intention is to reach more people and to share knowledge with my people. So your feedback is always helpful for me to make better videos. Have a good day. Thank you.